Hello everyone and welcome to our third Lent at Home video. We thank you so much for joining us today. So last week we talked about what Lent is and we um, read the story of uh, the pretzel and how the pretzel was made and um, how the pretzel is a Lenten food. And so we hope that you enjoyed that. Um, today we are going to get into prayer. And why is prayer during Lent so important um, and the meaning of that? Um, so let's get into that um, right now. So throughout the season of Lent, we are called to deepen our prayer life. For some of us, that means, you know, maybe to begin a habit of daily prayer, uh, setting time aside each day to share our hopes, joys, fears, and frustrations with God. Um, so praying in the morning when the house is still really quiet um, or talking to God while you're on your commute to work or from work are really simple ways to integrate prayer into everyday life. I know um, this winter I've been downhill skiing more than I probably have been since I was a teenager. And um, I've actually found that to be a really... Um, great time to talk to God and to spend some time in prayer with God in nature and just to praise Him for the majesty of creation. So even amongst um, daily things like that, we can find different opportunities to spend time in prayer with God. Um, some other ways that you can do this are to pray the rosary or maybe to visit Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament. We have adoration every Tuesday here at Holy Angels year-round um, from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. You can stop by um, anytime during that window and spend some time with Jesus. Or maybe um, attending a retreat. Uh, those are all great ways to deepen your relationship with God and uh, also to pray. So, uh, talking more about prayer, what do we do when we're facing an upcoming big event, celebration, or special occasion in our everyday lives? Well, we usually prepare for it, right? So, Holy Week and Easter are these big events in the liturgical year of the church and in the spiritual lives of Christians. And so, as Christians, we prepare spiritually for those big events through these 40 days of Lent. And this means that during Lent, we rededicate ourselves to prayer. There are so many ways to pray. There are probably as many ways to pray as there are people in the world. Um, but a few different prayer methods um, can help us uh, prepare ourselves for these big events during Lent. And I just want to share a few of these ideas with you. So making your abstinence a prayer in action. So as Catholics, we're always called to give something up for Lent, right? So maybe that's chocolate or coffee or um, one less hour of video games or one less hour of TV or whatever it is. You can make what you're giving up for, prayer, for Lent a prayer as well, um, a prayer in action. So whenever you encounter the thing that you are abstaining from or that you're giving up um, or whatever that time of day is that you would normally enjoy that thing, take a moment to say a prayer in recognition of your wholeness in God, even without the thing that you have given up. Thank God for the freedom to be holy yourself without this thing and at the same time acknowledge the gift of its existence in the world. Another idea is to pray the Stations of the Cross. So this is one of the most common traditions of Lent, and this prayer helps us reflect on the passion and death of Christ in preparation for Good Friday observance and the Easter celebration. We offer Stations of the Cross twice a week during Lent. Um, we offer this on Wednesdays at noon, and this is also live streamed. We also offer this Fridays at 7 p.m. during Lent, and this is also live streamed. So those are great opportunities for you to pray the Stations of the Cross. Praying as a family, praying with your children. So being a parent or a guardian or a teacher is a holy ministry and a sacred promise. And we're going to talk about an activity in just a minute that's going to make prayer as a family fun. Um, but 
Taking that time to pray as a family is important. And don't forget about family dinners. Dinner time is a great opportunity to start or even enliven a tradition of family prayer during Lent. Renewing yourselves uh, through personal reflective prayer. Lent is a time of spiritual renewal. And one easy step you can take is to use many free online resources to jumpstart or reinvigorate your prayer life. One of the prayer resources that I like that takes up virtually no time during your day is Loyal Press's three minute retreats. And I will link those, the link to that in the description of this video. Literally, it takes three minutes. You can do it on your phone um, or you can do it on the computer. And it's a three minute, very mini retreat that um, allows you to pray for just a few minutes every day. And they're different every day. Um, so I would encourage you to check that out. Reflect deeper in your liturgical prayer. So when you attend Mass during Lent, whether that be in person or virtually, be conscious of and meditate on the words in the liturgy. For example, the Eucharistic prayer um, has special significance during Lent. And after receiving communion or after praying the act of spiritual communion, you may want to sit and reflect more deeply on this great prayer of the church. Um, praying daily. Um, so I know many of you guys probably do pray daily. Um, but just making these small habits, like saying a little prayer whenever someone irritates you or cuts you off in traffic or maybe if somebody pushes you down on the playground or something like that. It, those are all really hard things to, um, to bear in our lives. But when someone does something like that, just say a little prayer to God and ask Him for help. Or when, maybe when someone does you a favor or... Um, you experience great or friendly service, or you're spending time with a good friend, um, say a prayer and thank God for that. And when you make those little habits like that, you'll soon find yourself praying your way through the day. Try this simple practice and you will be observing the Catholic Church's call for greater prayer during the Lenten season. And you may also find that this habit will make your life flow smoother, make yourself more you know, centered, and make your spirit aware, more aware of God's presence. There are many different ways to pray. And there are many different ways to make prayer a part of your daily life. And I just wanted to share some of these ideas with you. Um, I have a reference sheet with even some more ideas that I'm going to link um, in the description of this video. Or if you're watching this on our website, it'll be attached below the video, so you can check that out. Um, so now I want to um, show you something. This is kind of going to be our activity for the day, and this is going to make your family prayer a little bit more fun. So I have made these, these Lenten prayer cubes, and basically this is what the document looks like, and again, I will um, attach this to the description of the video, and I will also, if you're watching on our home page of our website, it will be attached underneath this video along with that reference sheet I just talked about. So um, this is a Lenten prayer cube full of ideas to pray differently each day during Lent. So you simply roll your cube like a dice and whatever it lands on, um, you'll pray what that square suggests. So first what you're going to want to do is color. You can have your child color in the squares and make it their own. Design it however they want. Then you're going to want to cut out around the outside edges of the cube. And then you'll fold in all of the um, lines that are adjacent to each other. So you'll fold those and it'll easily, and then you can tape them together and it easily turns into a cube. And then simply roll the cube each day and pray differently uh, during Lent. There are lots of child-friendly ways to pray on here. Thanking God for three things today. Um, saying a prayer at bedtime. Praying the Lord's Prayer. Choosing a special person to pray for today. I mean, there's all different kinds of ways to pray on here. And we hope that that encourages your family to pray and even makes prayer a little bit more fun. So please check that out uh, today. We encourage you to do that. Um, that is all I have for you today. 
Um, we thank you so much for watching. And to close, um, I want to do a guided reflection with you on prayer. So this will be our closing prayer. Um, but we hope that this allows you to spend some personal time with Jesus. So now take a moment to get comfortable and make sure you're in a position where you can be comfortable and still for the next few minutes. Let's quiet ourselves. Please close your eyes. We invite you to close your eyes. Slowly and quietly breathe in to the count of five. One, two, three, four, five. Hold your breath for one second. Now slowly and quietly breathe out to the count of five. One, two, three, four, five. Let's do that one more time. Breathe in one, two, three, four, five. Hold your breath for a second. Now slowly and quietly breathe out one, two, three, four, five. Now keep your eyes closed and imagine that everyone else in this room has vanished and that you are all alone, enjoying the quiet. Before long, Jesus walks in and sits next to you. He asks how you have been. Talk to him. Tell him about what you have been doing recently. Tell him what has made you happy recently. Tell him about anything that has made you sad or worried. Listen to him as he talks to you. Jesus explains that he is here today to talk to you about Lent and how he's inviting you to pray deeper during Lent. You ask him, Jesus, how can I pray during Lent? Jesus says, you're praying right now. You can pray this way anytime you want. Just take about five or 10 minutes every day and find a quiet place, maybe your room at home or a favorite place outdoors or even a quiet corner in the library. Quiet yourself down and I'll come and join you like I am right now and we'll just talk. You can tell me about what you're happy about and what might be upsetting you. You can tell me about people you are concerned about, people who are sick or going through a tough time. I'll be there to listen to you and to talk to you. Think right now about where we'll meet every day for a few minutes to spend some special time together. Jesus says, I'm not asking you to pray or fast or give alms to impress me or to earn my love. You already have my love. I'm asking you to do these things so that we can remain close together and so that you can grow in love because wherever there is love, you'll find me there. Talk to Jesus now in your own words about these Lenten practices of prayer, fasting, and almsgiving. And talk about those practices that he is asking you to make a part of your life. Tell Jesus that you want to have a good Lent, but that you need help. Talk to Jesus about anything that might be keeping you from praying, fasting, and giving alms this Lent and ask him for his help.
Jesus knows that it's time for you to move on now. He asks if there's anything else you want to say to him or ask him. Take time to do that now. Thank Jesus for this time together. Watch as he walks out of the room. Spend a quiet moment now with the Holy Spirit. When you are ready, gradually bring your attention back to this room and open your eyes. Stretch if you like. Welcome back. Thank you so much for praying that guided reflection with me. I hope that was a nice way for you to pray. And that's another way to pray. Just something simple like that. Spending time just talking to Jesus. That's a great way to pray. Thank you so much for watching this Lent at Home video today. Again, please check out the resources that are either in the description of this video or their links underneath the video. And we will see you next week for our fourth video and we're gonna talk about fasting.